हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ए बी बी एच एस डिजिटल क्लास रूम स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ जोग्राफी स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव एक्सपीरियंसड अ हैवी रेनफॉल हैव यू सीन अ स्नोफॉल यू मस्ट हैव एक्सपीरियंसड इट और सीन इट इन द मूवीज यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस द हेल स्टोन्स नाउ वॉट आर ऑल दीज these are the water in the form of solid or liquid state that comes from the clouds to the ground now how this water falls in the solid or liquid state how is it formed all this we are going to study in detail in our fifth lesson precipitation the lesson starts with some questions you can answer these questions very easily so you will write down the answers to these questions in your textbook itself before studying precipitation let's recall some points first of all 70.8% part of the earth surface is occupied by water but the distribution of this water is uneven we experience the different forms of condensation as shown in the pictures these forms of condensation occur due to the water vapor in the atmosphere let's recall the water cycle that you have studied in the previous classes here you can see the water cycle the evaporation takes place due to the sun's heat the evaporated air rises higher the light air rises higher there it condenses as the temperature is low and comes down in the form of water droplets as the atmospheric conditions change we see changes in the forms of condensation snow when the temperature in the atmosphere falls below the freezing point water vapor directly turns into snow flakes this is called as sublimation here the vapor in the form of gas transforms into solid snow precipitation in the form of solid particles of snow is known as snowfall do we find snowfall near our place no so where do we find the snowfall snowfall occurs at high latitudinal and temperate regions here the snowfall occurs at the mean sea level so high latitudes are the latitude 60 degrees north and south latitudes and beyond that while in the tropical areas snowfall occurs at places located higher than the snow line altitude find out where do we find the snowfall in india the next form of precipitation is hail when there is lot of heat on the earth's surface the upward air blows at a greater speed because of this upward flow the temperature of the air reduces and the condensation of water vapor takes place so dark clouds are formed because of the upward movement of air these water droplets go to a higher altitude here solidification of these droplets occur and hail stones are formed let us understand this with the help of this diagram as there is a lot of heat when the heat increases on the earth surface the air becomes light and it flows upward due to this upward movement of air the air rises higher and it condenses 
and droplets of water start falling down but again due to the upward flow of the air these droplets are forced to move at higher altitudes where the temperature is low below freezing point as a result these water droplets freeze and come down in the form of hailstones as these hailstones are heavy they form they come down fast due to gravity the next form of precipitation is rainfall we generally get water in the form of rainfall the temperature of the air with water vapor reduces when it goes higher condensation of the vapors occurs clouds form when the condensed water droplets and dust particles accumulate the water droplets increase in size when they cannot float in the air anymore because of their weight they come down as rainfall as we stay in lonavla we experience a heavy rainfall for a number of days can you tell what type of rainfall we experience think about it the types of rainfall are orographic rainfall convectional rainfall and cyclonic rainfall we will study the types of rainfall in detail in the next session so you will come to know what type of rainfall we receive till then you will read the lesson up to the hail till then stay home stay safe thank you